we're going to try deploying a rat to this XP target. We're going to deploy it from server 2016. So have both VMs running and log into both. In server 2016, find ProRat. I have mine just right here in the C drive. So open up ProRat version 1.9 and just launch ProRat. Now I have to warn you, there is every possibility that this tool right here is itself infected and we might have just infected our server 2016, but that's why we have VMs. Once the Trojan has been deployed, we will need to know the IP address of the target. We'll need to know XP's address, but we don't need to know it just yet. Let's come down here and click Create. We're going to create the ProRat server. The reason why is the Trojan expects us to make a connection. So the Trojan on XP will be the server. We will use the client to connect to it. So create that little ProRat server. And we're just going to leave all this stuff as it is. That's fine. Create server right here. It says it has been created in the current directory. OK. We now need to go get the ProRat server. Although we're seeing it right here on our desktop, this isn't actually where we launched it from. We actually launched it, or I launched it, from my C drive, the folder ProRat underscore v1.9. So here's the server. Now, you would need to rename it or do something do some social engineering so that the victim would launch it. They would think it's a game or something like that. We could rename it here. You'd probably want to change the icon. So we could call this, oh, I don't know, um, minecraft.exe. And we social engineer them into installing it. For our purposes in this activity, I'm just going to share the folder on server 2016. And then on XP, I'm going to connect to it and download the Minecraft ProRat server. In server 2016, I will select the folder where Minecraft is, right click it. I will share with specific people and I will add everyone, click add. Everyone can read, which means they can also download. I'll share, done. Just checking my IP address so that I can connect to it from XP. The IP address for my server 2016 is 192.168.252.137. Come over to XP, let me make a connection, click start then run and in the run line just type backslash backslash 192.168.252.137 press enter I'll have to log on let me just provide the username and password for server 2016 administrator and the password over there is capital P A 22 W 0 R D bang Click OK. There's the ProRat share. Open that up. There's Minecraft. Let me just shrink that down just a little bit. OK. I've social engineered the user into getting the coolest version of Minecraft ever. Now they have it on their machine. And I tell them, just open it up and play it. When they double click it, nothing happens. It might even disappear but that's okay. They'll come back to me and say, hey, there's something wrong with this thing. And I'll say, oh, I'm sorry, man. I'll double check and see what the problem is. So let's just go over and see if it actually started the listener. Click start, open a command prompt, and we'll type netstat tac na, enter. Scroll back up. And well, look at this. It's listening all right on 5110, which is its default port. Okay, great. I'm going to leave this up. 
Once I'm convinced that my victim has launched the fake Minecraft game, maybe they've complained to me about it because it's not doing anything, might even have disappeared on them, I'll just say, oh, I'm so sorry. I am going to now make a connection to them. In my case, I need to connect to, let me just type ipconfig in XP, I need to connect to them, 192.168.252.131. And the reason why we're connecting to them, 192.168.252.131, is because this particular Trojan, we did not set it up to make a reverse connection back to us. So we're making a connection to it. And we know that it's listening on the default port of 5110. Let's connect. Bink. There is a default password of 123456, which we did not try to change. So we'll just accept it and click OK. Now here's where the fun starts. Coming back to XP, did we make a connection? Let's up arrow and let's just see. Is there a connection? Sure is. On the left, the ProRat server on XP with port 5110. And on the right, the ProRat client console, port 1891. It even looks like it opened a second connection. Well, let's go back to our client console and have some fun. Let's get some PC information. Click that. PC info. System information. Okay. We've got information from it. How about the last visited 25 websites? Click that. All right. We have some info there. How about if we do something funny? What's funny stuff? Um, oh, we could add a tail to the mouse. <laughs> Let's do that. So when we come over here, oh yeah, and the mouse now has a trail. Okay, cute. How about if we make the mouse go crazy? Let's make the mouse go crazy. Oh my goodness, look at that. Okay, click fix it to stop that. How about if we flip the screen? <laughs> fix it. Okay, how about if we, uh, let's see here. Well, it's a virtual machine, so we can't open the CD-ROM drawer. That would be really hilarious. How about if we hide the start button? Oh, it went away. Look at that. Look at that. Show. How about if we hide desktop icons? Well, that didn't. Oops. How about if we hide desktop icons? Oh, yeah, they disappeared. Show them. Okay. What if we were to, what is give damage? I wonder. Click give damage. Oh, format drives. Now nah, I think we won't do that. At least not right now. What if we download something? We could download and run something. Wow. We could deliver something else malicious to them. What about applications? Applications. Uh, let's refresh this. We could kill their command prompt. Why not? Let's find the command prompt. CMD exe right there. Let's kill the process. Oof. Their command prompt went away. Let's do a chat with them. Chat. And <laughs> here are the names. Matrix chat model open chat. Uh, you just went down the rabbit hole. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. And can they chat back? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. We'll close the chat window. We could have just so much fun here, and we could get far more serious. We could go into their files. We could start looking for files. Let's maybe upload something. We could upload something to them. We could download something from them. We could create a directory, make wallpaper. Wow. And there's just so much crazy stuff we could do here. Anyway, I encourage you to have a lot of fun with this. When you are finally done, just disconnect. If you want to get rid of the ProRat listener, you can go into your tools and install anti-ProRat onto XP. I'm just going to drag it over to server 2016 going to put it in the share. 
the same share that I used to deliver the Minecraft ProRat server to XP. Let me just drop the anti ProRat in this share so that I can go over to XP and get the anti ProRat over here. Bring it over here. Let me unpack it. Right click. Let's extract. Yes, yes. Okay. And let's run anti ProRat right now. We'll scan. And it looks like we've got it. According to the log here, it looks like it has unlocked and fixed our system. Looks like in fixing it, it killed Windows Explorer. We're going to need to reboot this system. Let's see if we can shut it down from within VMware. It's only going to work if we have the tools. Yeah, let's just say yes. Oh, it didn't shut down nicely. But that is how we clean out ProRat. Have some fun with it, and when you're done, we will move on to the next topic.